Another scene twist. Here we are. Um, I apologize for the delay there. I had to um, restart my camera. So this video might be in two parts. But anyways, this is the second part. And already got one of these. Don't care. Deadpool. Everybody's favorite Merc with a Mouth. Um, I, as I said previously, I don't like Ryan Reynolds. Um, probably the last time I enjoyed his humor uh, was Van Wilder. Sue me, I know. Um, I was probably also like 16 years old, so what can I say? Um, I do enjoy his relationship with Spider-Man, and everyone knows I'm a Spider-Man fan a huge Spider-Man fan, and they have kind of like this Batman-Robin romance where everyone thinks they're gay, and they might be. That's fine. That's cool. My favorite superhero could be. That's fine. Um, but who better to have a romantic relationship with than Deadpool? Guy's basically immortal. Oh, wow. Interesting. So this is a signature card uh, of Leader, who sucks ass. He's pretty much the lamest supervillain. Like, I can think up some great plan to kill everybody. Okay, fine. Um, but it is a special card nonetheless. Uh, so this one, uh, on the back, it says, uh, Congratulations, you've received a trading card autographed by Devin Lowe. This trading card was signed in the presence of a company representative or sent from and certified as to its authenticity by Devin Lowe. Enjoy your autograph card. So this is an actual autograph. To me, that's crazy. I, um, wow, 23 of 25. That's cool. Um, I'm going to take that shitty legendary card just because I don't have any, um, I don't have any, uh, I've got nothing for plastic card holders here with me, and for me, legendary is not that important, although it does come with, this is our legendary card, comes with the front and back, so interesting, I thought maybe there was two cards hidden in there, but uh, once, once I'm done this video, I will put this into an actual binder, but I, that's, that's super cool that they do that. Uh, and let's see, what, what else do we have here? Uh, we've got our 3D card, which is Storm. I don't know. Lots of people love Storm, Halle Berry. Um, I don't know. I've never been a huge X-Men fan. Uh, Wolverine's kind of cool, but other than that, Phoenix, Dark Phoenix, that's about it. So anyways, that's the Storm 3D Lenticular. Um, it is kind of cool, but nice artwork. Somebody kill me now. More of these. Circus of Crime? I mean, I'm gonna email Upper Deck. You're like, what the fuck is this? Why so many? In case I forget, have I had like 16 of them? I don't know. I have no idea why they're there. Oh, next pack. This one looks a bit strange as well. There might be one of those framework pieces in here. Cable, just the regular, not a 3D lenticular card. Um, and yeah, I can definitely tell um, even when you spread out the cards. You can feel the cards kind of shifting around in there because it's smaller than everything else. So I'm trying to hold them up, but I can tell there's a card bouncing around. Um, this is probably one of those frame, framework cards. We'll get there. Uh, Lizard, again, regular, not the 3D. Storm. Not 3D, same card. And here we are, Daredevil. That's super cool. He's doing, uh, it's, it's almost like a backflip swan dive kind of thing. It's 
pretty cool. Uh, back, suspected of being Daredevil, Matt Murdock is sentenced to Rikers Island. Shit. When Black Tarantula starts a riot among the prisoners, the blind lawyer is forced to fight alongside the Punisher, and together they save a warden and break out of prison. That's cool. I like that. I'd like to see that on the Netflix series. Since we already know Luke Cage busted out of prison. Not really a spoiler, I hope. Not really. It's been so long. You guys should have watched it by now. No apologies. Uh, some more Circus of Crime and Man Thing bullshit. I thought maybe they would be different cards. But I guess not. Yeah, anyways. We shall see. So it doesn't look like there's anything in it. Hard to say. Oh, here's our dev Daredevil card, which uh, we just unwrapped. Same thing, just not lenticular. Master Strike, we've already got one of those. Cap's chilling in the background like Ceiling Cat. Just choke him. Now, choke him. Colossus. Also made a better debut in uh, Deadpool than the X Men movies. So, props to him, I guess. Ooh, cool. Uh, 3D Iron Fist. And the flame is, is kind of uh, popping out to the front, so it looks like it's, it's in your face. Very cool. I like that one. Let me guess. Circus of Crime and... No? Oh, it's Hulk and Man Thing. Crazy. Open it up. different ones. Baron Zemo. So for people who um, never read comics or didn't collect any trading cards, uh, Zemo is in um, and referenced in uh, Captain America. Um, where else? I think even in Black Panther, I, I think they reference his name. I'm trying to recall, but I might be wrong. Anyways, he does not look like this. This would be badass if he looked like that. He looks like just a regular white dude. So, I mean, that's scary too. So. Uh, Electra, but a different uh, pose than the one we had before. Uh, this is her iconic red outfit. Um, I wanna see something else. I wanna see maybe the, uh, the white. We'll see. Maybe they, maybe we'll find something. Uh, this one I believe we had already. Bystander. Oh, cool. This is our 3D for this pack, Spider-Man. So I'm happy about that. Um, since I love Spider-Man. And it's pretty cool. Um, buildings are kind of offset, so he's popping out of the car and the buildings are in the background. Really cool. And then some more Hulk and Man thing that nobody cares about. So, really hoping that I get one of these um, 1 in 240 cards, or 240 packs, um, even if it's like the shittiest card ever, like the leader, it's still autographed, uh, which is cool. Um, really hoping that I can get one of these. One in 240, Bystander Redemption. That's appears to be um, the most rare kind of card you can get. And it's not to do with Legendary. Which for me is great, because I don't want more Legendary cards. I already got enough Hulk and Man Thing cards. Um, so I just want one of these. I want a Redemption card. He's super happy. Uh, Abomination was in... Um, the Hulk. Hulk movie. Sorry, trying a blank there for a second. Um, I guess it was alright. It was a decent movie. Uh, better than Ang Lee's Hulk. Not saying much. Anyways. 
Uh, another wound, Wolverine, Hawkeye, pretty lame as well. He's like on the same playing field as Black Widow, like I don't actually have a superpower, I'm just a great marksman. Um, cool. I'm sure you've all seen Keanu Reeves uh, in the um, shooting range, so Hawkeye, you ain't got shit on John Wick. Ah, 3D lenticular is Magneto. This is actually really nice. I love this artwork. The color is crazy. You probably can't see it in the cam, but um, just bright pink and this rainbow colored ball that he's holding. And uh, it's all kind of popping out. You can't see again, but very nice colors there. And then we've got Oh my god! It's not Man Thing, not the Hulk. Photographer? It's P. This is the legendary card, but what? One of the same ones we've had before. I don't know, it says bystander, but it's definitely not a 1 in 240 card because it looks like. Just looks like every other card, every other legendary card. Uh, bystander is worth plus one for each hero you have that costs seven or more among all your cards at the end of the game. Cool. We haven't seen one of those before, so small, uh, small win there. It's not man thing. It's not the Hulk. Ultron, which to me was so much cooler before they threw him into Iron Man. Like, the guy just makes copies of himself, builds copies of himself. Um, the movie was alright, I guess, but um, I don't know. I guess I just had different expectations. So, anyways. Another Spider Man. Wolverine. Uh, we've got the 3D version of this with the shadow in the background. Cool. Oh, 3D is uh, Red Skull, which oh, you can actually see that one move more than any other ones. What the hell? And it's like super lame super villain. Like, hey, I'm a Nazi. That's about it. Um, won't spoil anything, but we know who you are. Man, yeah, thinking Hulk. Of course, of course. All right, so we got two packs left. Um, still, fingers crossed for me, guys. Throwing out a hail mary or something. I don't know. Another Ultron to start. Uh, Captain America, which is cool. Um, nothing special about this card other than some lame dude just cowering in the background. Uh, Domino, also in Deadpool 2. Um, super happy that um, Marvel is not afraid to breach those subjects that tend to piss people off um, so casting Samuel Jackson as uh, Nick Fury um, you know they're changing gender they're changing race which really doesn't matter if you can fucking act then just do the part doesn't matter what color you are what gender you are there's like 62 genders by now um, awesome great job uh, really happy with what Marvel Studios are doing, or Disney, I guess. Sounds stupid to say that, but 3D card, Hawkeye, pretty lame. I mean, the, there's like a thing in the background you can see moving, but nothing special. Super lame. Clint, nobody likes you. That's 
why you're not in uh, Infinity War. Uh, oh my god! That one's different. Eternity of Solitude. Howard the Duck is in the background. I don't know if y'all can see him, but... He's there. Great 80s movies. Um, and then another uh, Burn the Fearful. Uh, and that brings us to our last pack, so... Guys, keep your fingers crossed for me, please! I'm in 240 chance. But I'm not that lucky, so... We'll see. Uh, Ghost Rider, but this one looks different than the last one that we got. It's cool. I like it. I think Ghost Rider again. Love to see a um, Netflix series with Ghost Rider. Maestro. Nobody knows who you are. The Hulk's future song? Man, I've been out of comic books too long. I don't know that shit. Somebody probably knows it. And you're going to leave a comment, I'm sure. Forge. Kind of lame as well. But, yeah, it's a super lame 3D. Gladiator. Really? You left me hanging. Not one in 240 chance. And I got Gladiator. Just a regular 3D. Probably got a circus of... Yeah. I got a circus of fucking idiots. Anyways. Cool. Glad here. Yeah. I design costumes for a living. I'm I'm just gonna be a supervillain. Lame. Anyways, that is uh the end of our packs. Um so we got some pretty cool cards. Really uh excited that I did get this one, this one not bad. Artwork's shitty, and it's for Legendary, which I don't play. But um, the fact it's an authentic signature kind of blows my mind. I feel like they're just messing with me. I feel like it was stamped, like all those gold stamp cards that I got when I was a kid, and uh, it had the signature. I just I don't want to believe them. I mean, I do want to believe them, but I don't really. And, um, I don't know. It's, that's that's pretty crazy. I don't even see it on the back of the box. This one is a game designer autograph. Game designer autograph. I don't even see it in the, uh, the special card odds. But, anyways, pretty cool. That's you, Devin Lowe. Apparently it's your signature, your real signature on this card, so I'll try not to lick it. Um, super fun. I um, haven't opened packs forever, and uh, I think now I'm kind of obsessed. Uh, I just want to buy more packs. So you guys might see me doing some more unboxing. Um, again, this one was the um, upper deck. 3D, uh, probably my favorite set of all time so far was, I think it was drawn a blank, but I think it's 97 Fleer Ultra Spider-Man, um, amazing artwork, amazing special cards, I don't even think I have the entire set complete, um, but pretty close, and apparently there's one that, that was released, it was a Fleer Ultra Spider-Man, in the last few years, maybe three or four years, so I'm really excited. Maybe I can buy a box. And um, this set is, is decent. I'm going to have to see, um, maybe print off a checklist and, and find out what kind of cards are in the set. And uh, throw them in my binder. And um, maybe sometime I will bust out my binders. I've got uh, some of the, the full sets from the 90s. Which I might uh, might throw up a U uh, YouTube video and um, see what everyone thinks. Uh, I really love trading cards uh, way more than comics, and um, I'm hoping maybe if there's more popularity, if 
I can even get five, ten people that enjoy trading cards, maybe those five or ten will down the road become five or ten thousand and Marvel or whether it's Marvel or Upper Deck or Fleer, whoever it is, is more inclined to release more sets um, because there's so few and far between. Um, I know Marvel's premiere set. Uh, the artwork is garbage. And um, just doing the math, if you were lucky enough to buy enough packs and never have a duplicate card, you would need to pay roughly ten thousand dollars Canadian to have us to have the entire set. And for me, that's you know I grew up in the '90s when they were releasing the first sets, and um, it's just not feasible. Nobody, nobody who really enjoys trading cards is going to go out and spend ten thousand dollars just to get a set, and that's again no duplicates. You would have to have the purest luck of all time, and. Uh, yeah, for me, for my brother, uh, most of the people that I grew up with who collected these types of cards don't have that kind of money. I'm not a millionaire, so I want these types of sets where I can I can buy a box for you know eighty eighty five dollars, and I can enjoy an hour of time where I just open some packs and uh, see what uh, what kind of artwork is out there. So, I'm glad you guys joined me. It's been very fun. Hopefully, I will have more uh, boxes to open in the near future. I'm hoping I can pick up um, maybe another box of this. This is really good. I like this set. Um, the artwork is fantastic. Um, but I really love that Fleer Ultra Spider Man. So, I'm thinking I might try to pick up a box of that. Anyways. Thanks very much, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you on the flip side.